I am Kelsey from roughandtumblefarmhouse.com and today I'm going to give you a quick tour of our milking parlor in progress. So this is what we had to start with. This is a stall on our farm that the previous owners really didn't take very good care of their barn so you can't tell but this was full of almost knee deep old manure that we had to dig out first. We chose this spot in particular because it already has a roof over half of it, so it'll be easier to enclose completely for winter to keep warm. But I spent a lot of time just shoveling stuff out of here, at least for making a nice flower bed out of it. And so here's what we ended up doing. I didn't film the progress because my dad came and helped and he's very anti having his image anywhere. So here to start with at the back end of the stall, we have a gate here that is reinforced with a two by four. So this, you just reach up here and there is a little gate latch that you can unhook. And that swings down and drops into place in this bracket. So it's very sturdy. And this is what is gonna keep our cow in from the rear end. And then to lift it up, just lift and it clicks nicely into place. So I think this is gonna be really handy. So I apologize that the lighting is pretty dim in here. That's one thing that is on the list for additions, but you can see pretty basically, basically here we just used a couple of four by fours and some leg bolts. And these are really sturdy. They go up into the ceiling portion here over the stall and are attached. And then as you follow them down, the floor of our stalls, thankfully, is made out of dirt. So we dug down, there's some good class five underneath this old dirt, and so we were able to really secure them very well. And here we have an eight foot board that stretches the length of the stall. Up here at the front, I still need to attach a feed pan for her, and also I'm thinking just a hook on the wall to tie her to. Here I have just my little milking station. Again, everything looks so gray and so dark, but I apologize again, we'll get light in here soon. And over here I have my little stanchion for milking my goats, which we have already been using. And then just my little milk stool there. You can maybe see the dirt has been dug up a little bit, unfortunately, because the chickens like to come in. And over here in this area, I'm actually gonna be turning into sort of a playpen for my daughter. She's a year and a half old and I need to have a way to have her be safe and secure when I am dealing with my dairy animals. And she's just that age where she likes to run around. So that's where she's gonna hang out eventually. So here where we just have the hog panels dividing the stalls, we are gonna be adding sort of that kind of white washable material that you see in like restaurants so we can clean it easily. The floor, we are gonna be putting some stall mats in here. Again, so it'll be easier to keep them clean from manure and from pee, which of course will happen. And then we will eventually put a roof over the rest of the structure so that way it's completely contained because in the winter here in Minnesota, it gets really nasty cold and it would be nice to be able to continue to milk all the way through the winter months. So nothing too fancy here, just something that'll get the job done. It wasn't very expensive. All this infrastructure was around $80, I think. We have a couple more things to add, uh, but we're pretty excited with our new little milking parlor. All right, so that is our milking parlor. Again, we have quite a few things we still wanna add to it, but I'm so excited that after wanting one of these things for years, I finally have a good solid way to secure my cow when it comes time for milking and set up a really nice milking parlor that I can use and that my little girl can be down here with me too when I'm milking my cows and my goats. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please let me know in the comments any suggestions or ideas you might have to make our milking parlor that much better. We always appreciate it if you like, subscribe, share. It just helps our channel grow even more. You can always find two new blog posts over at the blog, roughandtumblefarmhouse.com. And there's always a new video here every single week about farming, family food, and fortitude here at our Rough and Tumble Farmhouse.